One, two, three. <laughs> to you today with the tune Clinch Mountain Backstep. This is a classic banjo tune made famous by Dr. Ralph Stanley. I really love this song because it sounds great played fast or slow and it's got a lot of kind of bluesy sounding licks over some major sounding chords which gives it a really kind of unique feel. So I'm going to break the whole tune down note for note and then show you some of my backup stuff that I would do on this tune. So here's Clinch Mountain Backstep. Right, so I've got my capo on the second fret. I've got my, my fifth string railroad spiked up to, so I've tuned it up to A, that's important if you don't have those railroad spikes. You're going to have to tune your fifth string all the way up, you know, a whole step to A, so be careful, don't, don't tune it too quick. Um, but these railroad spikes are a good option, or you can get a fifth string capo, that's another option. But this tune is usually played out of the key of A, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to capo up for this lesson and play it out of that position. But just know if you don't have a capo or you don't have the railroad spikes or you're just too lazy, you can also just play it out of the key of G and just, you know, you just move everything down, down two frets, you know, and you just have the capo off. Okay? So the first thing I want to do is, is work on the two positions that we're going to do because the most important thing about this song is using the right fingers. If you use the right fingers, it'll make the song a lot, a lot easier. If you, if you get tripped up and using different fingers, it's going to make the song a lot harder than it needs to be. So first thing I want to do is we're going to start with our, our first finger, our index finger of our left hand. We're going to put it on the first fret of the second string. So in this case, it's a D note. So we're going to work on sliding that up two frets. So that's going to be our two positions we're going to work out of. Basically up here. You know, so up here and then back down to here. So you can add the other fingers, it'll make sense, but the first thing is you can just do it with one finger. So you just want to get used to that, you know, how far is that distance. So if you can get kind of used to that, that'll make the song a lot easier, okay? So we're actually going to start up in the higher position of the two. So I'm going to start with my first finger on the third fret of the second string. And I'm gonna, this is our pickup. We're going to hit the, the fifth string of our th with our thumb and then hit the third st or the second string. Excuse me, I can't talk. So it's one, two, three, four, and. and then, so, so that's our pickup. So let me play the first two measures and then I'll break it down. It'll make more sense. Here we go. So one, two, three. We're starting with that pickup, thumb index with our right hand. Then we're going all the way up to the, the fifth fret. I use my third finger of my left hand. You can try your pinky, see what feels natural to you. You're going to pluck that string uh, with your middle finger of your right hand. And you're on the fifth fret. So you can actually start with that down too if you want to. So it'll sound like this. Four and one. And then you're going to move your first finger to the third fret of the first string and pinch the fifth string and the third string at the same time. So kind of a bluesy G7 lick. So, so you do middle finger and then pinch. And these are all quarter notes, so except for the pickup. So it's four and one, two. Then we're gonna hit open middle finger or first string and then back to that third fret. So it's Five, three, open, three, and I'm doing a little pinch on the th on the third fret, but you don't have to. So you could also do it like this. So I'm just doing middle, you know, four middle fingers in a row in that case. But I like adding those pinches; it gives it a little bit extra pop. So you can you can you know throw those in there on your own. 
But I, so I put them on the third fret, so it sounds like this. One more time. Pinch, open, pinch. And then next measure, we're going to do a backwards roll. And this is where we got to shift down. So I'm going to move my first finger back down to the first fret of the second string. My third finger down to the third fret of the third string. And I'm going to do a backwards roll. So middle, index, thumb. And then one more middle on the open first string. And then open third string. So that sounds like this. So it's one and two and three. So those first, and then you do, you're going to slide back up and do that next, that same exact pickup that you started with. So you slide back up. So let me play those first two measures. So. And the third beat of the second measure is a quarter note. So that'll give you a little bit of time to get back up there. So it sounds like this. One and two and three, four and so you do have a little bit of time there. So don't rush too much, you know. Another thing you can kind of do is when you do that backwards roll, you can bend the third fret of the third string a little bit. I bend it up just a little bit. Gives it just a little bit extra bluesy flavor that I, that's kind of cool. Now don't bend it too much, but. Or you can bend it up and then kind of bend it back really quick. So then we're going back up. And then fifth fret, fifth fret of the first string again. Pinch third and open. Then we're going right back down, backwards roll. And then we're pausing our quarter note on beat four. So it's one, two, three, and four. And then we're on D, so this is measure five. We're going to pinch index and middle and do a hammer on from the first fret to the third fret of the second string. So I'm pinching my index and middle at the same time I'm hammering on. And then I'm bringing my thumb of my right hand down and I'm doing that hammer on again. And then I'm with my right hand I'm doing thumb, middle, and then I'm going up to the fifth string. Uh, thumb, index, middle, thumb, and I'm keeping that third fret of the second string down. So that whole measure, measure five, sounds like this. It's a cool lick. One more time. So it's very similar to if you've played Foggy Mountain Breakdown. It's, it's, it's kind of a variation on that, the Foggy Mountain Breakdown lick. Instead of a two to three hammer on, you know, we're making it a one to three to give it a little bit of bluesier sound. So one more time. Don't let that first hammer on throw you off. You know, follow the right hand. So if you if you do just the right hand, it's you know. So, so don't let those hammer ons throw your right hand off. Okay. So after you you roll forward, thumb, index, middle, thumb. Then we got to sl quickly slide back up and use those open strings to get you back up there. And then we're back to the fifth fret of the first string. So that part's all the same as measure one and two. Same exact lick. Pinch, open, pinch, backwards roll. Pinch, open, pinch, backwards roll. 